Which feline makes it home in the scorching heat among sandy dunes? What is the world's smallest cat? Find out as we take a look at amazing wildcats you didn't know existed. Number 9. Fishing Cat State animal of the Indian province of West Bengal, Fishing Cat demolishes the common misconception of water-fearing felines through its name alone. With an olive to ashen gray coat that's sprinkled with different spots and stripes, this cat isn't particularly easy to identify at first glance. But a closer look at the fishing cat reveals some highly specialized characteristics. The long fur adorning its underside, along with its buff, stocky physique, give the cat a badger-esque look. It also sports webbing between its clawed toes as a tool to assist with paddling, as it hunts for fish, mollusks, amphibians, and other aquatic mammals along the rivers, streams, and swamps of Southeast Asia. Sadly, these wetlands are under constant threat of exploitation and pollution, leading to their protection by conservation groups and the nations in which they're found. Still, many people find the pesky fishing cat to be a nuisance, and dozens have been reportedly exterminated by South Asian locals in the last decade, despite their protected status. Number 8. Serval. Native to the northern African nations of Morocco and Tunisia, the slender spotted serval resembles a miniature cheetah, as it only stands around 2 feet tall and a maximum of about 3 feet in length. But the medium-sized cat has some unique characteristics that separate the serval from its speedy big brother. In addition to its dark spots, this feline also has black stripes that run down the back of its neck. Its golden fur is also accented by a white underbelly, and white fur also appears between black stripes on its ears. Structurally, the serval is unique in that it has the longest legs of any cat in relation to its size. This is because of its elongated, strangely mobile toes that it uses to impale its prey. The astounding agility of the serval is demonstrated by such carnivorous pursuits with their pouncing leap launching the cat up to six and a half feet in the air and almost 12 feet in distance. These wild hunters, despite their feral nature, have been occasionally adopted as pets throughout history, though many countries regulate this practice today with the serval never really able to be housebroken. Luckily for fans of the Slender Stalker, a domesticated hybrid cat was successfully bred with a serval to create a new breed with a dog-like nature in the late 1980s. This new savanna cat has become fairly popular over time with the majority of US states legalizing them as pets. Number 7. Sand Cat The pale, yellow-furred, adorably small sand cat is the only known feline to mostly inhabit true deserts. While its scrawny stature doesn't lend itself to an intimidating presence, the sand cat is an exceptional survivor. Long hairs cover the bottom of its paws, providing a thick, furry padding for walking across scorching sand. In addition to protecting their toes, this fur also causes their tracks to become muddled and difficult to follow saving the sand cat from any would-be predators. They prey on smaller rodents, reptiles, and birds in their habitat across the deserts of Central Asia, the Middle East, and North Africa. The sand cat has been recorded chasing down these critters with a burst of speed, reaching a sprint of up to 25 miles per hour. From this small bit of visceral nutrition, the sand cat also derives its source of moisture in the arid heat though they will drink water if and when they can find it. But even with all these defense mechanisms against the bitter harshness of desert life, the sand cat faces modern endangerment due to the degradation of their native ecosystems. Human interference in various desert environments, either by way of settlement and construction or livestock grazing, can lead to the depletion of local vegetation, and as a result, the various animals that feed on them. Fortunately, hunting of the cat is prohibited in at least eight of the countries in which it resides, and the population was reclassified as being of least concern from the status of near threatened by conservation organizations in 2016. Number six, Caracal. Robust and lithe, the medium-sized Caracal is an adept hunter that makes its home in a wide variety of habitats from North Africa to India and an assortment of nations in between. Characterized chiefly by its large bat-like ears accented by wispy black tufts of fur, imagery of the nocturnal caracal can be found in ancient cultures across the Eastern Hemisphere. For centuries, the moderately built feline was caught and used as a high-class gift among Chinese dynasties, as a hunting companion in India, and as a protector of tombs in Egypt. One popular game of the time was to release caracals among flocks of pigeons, and allow spectators to bet on which cat would catch the most birds thanks to their intense hunting techniques. The average size caracal weighs up to 40 pounds and measures over three feet long from head to tail end. This stout, compact size allows its dense muscles to thrust the caracal up to 10 feet 
in the air in order to snatch flying prey directly out of the sky. And while they show immense skill at catching small prey, these cats are capable of taking down much larger animals than pigeons, feeding on large antelopes when the chance presents itself. Though it often competes with leopards, hyenas, and wolves for food, the Caracal population is globally plentiful, with some nations even classifying them as vermin for their livestock hunting tendencies. Number five, Margay. As a smaller version of the ocelot, Margays are notable for their intricately spotted coats of fur. Weighing in at less than nine pounds at maximum, this small wildcat spends its days in the safety of the canopy of rainforests across Central and South America. The Margay possesses a unique skeletal design that allows it a level of ankle flexibility only one other species of cat can match, which allows it to climb not only up, but also down trees head first. Its ankles can turn up to an astounding 180 degrees, and its strong feet are equally well equipped for grasping in both its front and hind limbs. It's even been documented to be able to hang from a branch by a single paw. These physical properties, along with their ability to jump up to 12 feet horizontally, allow the margay to potentially spend its entire life above the ground. This lifestyle allows the night-dwelling creatures to hunt other tree-roaming animals like birds, lizards, tree frogs, and even monkeys. Somewhat of an omnivore, margays will also dine on fruits and grass to assist with digestion. But vegetation is only so tempting to the crafty cat who has been observed employing an ability called auditory mimicry. With this technique, the margay was able to imitate the cry of an adolescent tamarind, drawing the attention of a group of adults nearby. While it failed in this one example to catch its prey, it is still the first example of a neotropical predator to exhibit such behavior. Number four, clouded leopard. From the foothills of the Himalayas through Southeast Asia, all the way to the middle of mainland China, the uniquely patterned clouded leopard can be found prowling deep within forests. That is, if you can spot them. For years, this cat was thought to be extinct in various countries, thanks to the large brown and gray blotches that fill its coat almost resembling the scales of a Burmese python and granting it the camouflage it needs to stay secluded from human contact. But in the past few decades, these beliefs were shattered as individuals were found in nations like Nepal, India, and Bangladesh to name a few. Its unique fur pattern has made the clouded leopard a common target among poachers and has earned the status of endangered among conservationists as a result. Many regions banned the hunting of the rarely seen feline, but some of those like Malaysia and Thailand failed to enforce such laws and the threat against the clouded leopards remains dire. It's no wonder they remain hidden among the treetops where they are able to live the majority of their life in solitude. This is thanks to a commonality it shares with the margay that allows it to climb in a wider variety of directions. But unlike its smaller brethren, the clouded leopard is a relatively big cat, measuring at more than six feet in length from nose tip to tail, and weighing up to five times as much as the margay. Number three, flat-headed cat. Scurrying along the tropic floors of South Asia's rainforest is a ferret-esque creature that is surprisingly feline in origin. Called the flat-headed cat, this critter is notable for its unusual skull and narrowly extending snout. The rest of its features are slender and elongated to match, and the contrast between its large eyes and small ears gives its head a look that makes them all the more unique in comparison to domestic cats. Flat-headed cats usually have reddish-brown fur near their heads, with the coat blending into darker browns as it progresses to the tail. From nose to tail, they only grow up to about two feet long and weigh a maximum of five and a half pounds. But these lightweight traits only serve as a ruse to distract from their surprisingly large teeth. With teeth the size and sharpness of other cats up to twice its size, the flat-headed cat is able to latch onto fast-moving aquatic prey, retaining a diet of mostly fish. And while this behavior isn't necessarily unique, with the fishing cat also relying on a water-based food source, one thing this cat does to set itself apart is actually wash its meals before eating. Like a raccoon, the flathead cat will give its catch a good rinsing before digging into the freshly seized fish. Number two, Jaguarundi. From the south of Texas all the way to Argentina, the wild cat known as the Jaguarundi slinks through the wetlands of the Americas. It resembles an amalgamation between a sea otter and a cougar with its short fur and lean figure, surviving on a wide variety of rodents, reptiles, birds, and bugs during their solitary trek across home territories that stretch up to 38.6 miles. Choosing to live rather reclusive lives, the Jaguarundi are hyper aware of traps and threats in their presence 
preferring to test conditions in their immediate area with a wide range of vocal capabilities, such as mimicking the chirping of a bird. Using its dark gray and reddish brown coat varieties to blend in with the brush, these cats remain mostly unheard of by the general public, with sightings occurring very rarely. Not valued for its fur or particularly prey to other predators, the jaguarundi instead faces its major threat due declining habitat. While it is still rarely spotted in the Lone Star State, researchers have found their native habitat to be quickly depleting in resources, leading to an imperiled jaguarundi population in the U.S. Number one. Rusty Spotted Cat. The near-threatened Rusty Spotted Cat is the world's smallest undomesticated feline, with individuals measuring as small as 14 inches in length and two pounds in weight. Finding its home in the caves and canopy of Nepal, India, and Sri Lanka, and keeping to the protective cover of the night, a Rusty Spotted Cat is able to dodge most natural predators. However, deforestation of their native lands, along with hunting and trapping by livestock owners, has led conservationists to seek protection for this little creature. Today, the Rusty Spotted Cat is safeguarded from hunting and trading in India and Sri Lanka, but there's still a long way to go until this adorable species is truly stable. If you could take any of these cats home, which one would it be and why? Let us know in the comments below.